Hey Star Wars fans, welcome back to another video. Tonight we're having a look at the new Mandalorian Darksaber from Hasbro. I picked this up from Big W, it is currently on sale um, for 39 bucks. regular price at $59 here in Australia. Um, $39 was too good to pass up. I was, I probably would have bought it for 59 eventually, but uh, for 39 I couldn't say no. Um, this thing is just really cool. I'm really hoping Hasbro get to do a Black Series version at some point later on, um, but this will make me very happy for a short time anyway. So I did want to have a look at the box because there actually is some really cool art on this box, um, and you know it was displayed just in the side here, um, but showcasing some really good like Clone Wars um, Rebels moments that include the dark saber. So at the top here we've got Pre Vizsla's helmet you know, sort of central to, to its past, um, particularly with his lineage of Tar Vizsla, the first Jedi Mandalorian. Um, and as we move down, we get Maul. We get Maul fighting Vizsla there. And that sort of climactic battle that led to Maul um, basically becoming the ruler of Mandalore. And we get down to sort of Rebels territory, we get Sabine. And her time with the dark saber and eventually into the hands of lady bo katan of mandalore and there is still some middle ground where we don't know what happened between here and when moff gideon uh pulled the dark saber out and pulled himself out of the tie fighter at the end of season one of the mandalorian so looking forward to finding out but let's have a look at this thing so it's pretty nice you know, it's a simple sort of plastic look, but it looks good. Um, you know, you'd expect more from a Black Series one if this came in, it was Black Series. But, you know, it's a $39, $40 toy, um, $50 around that mark anyway. So it's not too bad. Um, they like the sort of black etchings from the inside. Obviously, it is difficult to make black light. <laughs> um, such as the dark saber is shown in the series, but uh, it actually looks pretty good. It's pretty effective. We got the switches underneath. I think one is like demo mode, so that's what it's on when you play with it in the store. It gives you about ten or fifteen seconds, and then it switches itself off. Uh, you have the power off, and then you know normal play, normal play features for uh, for this thing. So the sounds are really good on it. Um, I find the effects are a little bit laggy, but you know, again, it's a toy, but it looks, looks cool. So, uh, let's have a look. Sounds are, sounds are really cool. Let's walk around a little bit. There's some pretty cool sound effects. The speaker's pretty loud. It comes out of here. I'm not even sure if you can hear me over it. <laughs> so let's just unignite that. But yeah, the speaker's there. Battery pack goes in there. I'm not sure how many batteries it takes. Um, not sure, but I don't know. It's pretty cool. I like it a lot. Um, it'd be nice to get some little plastic caps. This is just me being anal, but uh, the screw holes all through here. Um, you know what, you can barely even see them, but they're in here. Um, get some little black plugs to fill that up with, but, um, yeah, I dig it. I dig it a lot. I'm going to, um, cut it off here. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, stay tuned after I'm going to just swing it around in the dark room so you can see it afterwards as well. Um, but yeah, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button where it is, wherever it is on the screen. Um, plenty more Star Wars videos to come. Till then, may the force be with you.